Sup dudes and dudettes, it's me Ron Ogden. Today I'm gonna show you how to get past that giant shark on the island, bro. Let's do this. Dudes, I've totally gotta drop this accent cause it's kinda bothering me, bro. Thanks, bro. First step is to find Shark Island on the Pop Tropica map. Let's go get some carbonated coconut milk from the coconut milk vendor. He's to the right of the entrance. Once you've done that, backtrack a little bit back to the fin seller. He'll give you a fin. Once you have the fin, it's off to the ancient ruins. Now once you're in the ancient ruins, this is pretty straightforward. Once you're in the ancient ruins, fall down to the bottom and move to the left. You'll notice that the only way you can go is up, so now take it up. Once you get to the top left, you'll see what appears to be a tribal face. It's actually a key system. The pass key that you need to enter the ancient tomb is fairly simple. It's the second tooth on the top, then the second tooth on the bottom, then the third tooth on the bottom, and finally, the fourth tooth on the top. Once you've selected the teeth in this order, simply press the triangle in the middle of its head. It'll open up for you to move forward. Now we're moving forward into the next chamber. Man, I'm glad there's not a giant boulder chasing us. Move all the way to the left, making sure to use the golden shark as a way to jump over the caterpillar. Move to the bottom left and you'll find some old dinosaur bones. Grab the large bone, and now we're going to move to the top. Watch out for the caterpillar. Uh, 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 whoa, whoa, yeah. Yeah. Now move into this chamber and collect your prize. It's the key ingredient to our potion. Now jump up and out of the ancient ruins. Hey, hmm. Now that we have the key ingredient and bone, the next part of our potion we'll need is a grass skirt. Don't worry, you won't be putting it in the potion. You just have to wear it. Go all the way to the crying mother and talk to the grass skirt vendor. He'll give you a grass skirt. Once we have the grass skirt, remember the palm tree we passed near the ancient ruins with all the coconuts falling and bonking you on the head? We're going back there and we're climbing that palm tree. Make sure to use the stone block to gain access to the first vine. Once you climb the tree, go up. You have to put on that grass skirt before you talk to the medicine man, otherwise he doesn't think you're a native and won't talk to you. That pesky guy was throwing coconuts at us. But that's okay. In Pop Tropica, we forgive those who trespass. Because he's going to make us a potion. Once you talk to him, he'll take all the ingredients for the potion. Dude, we totally just made some soup, bro. Once the medicine man is done cooking up his stew, it's time to put that shark to sleep. Go back to the crying mother and play with the coconut cannon. This time, it'll use your sleeping potion. And watch as that giant shark falls asleep. Little known fact... Sharks don't sleep. They have to continue moving in order for water to go through their gills so they can breathe. But in Pop Tropica, sharks do sleep. Nighty night, sharky boy. Now swim across to the other side, talk to the old man, and save the crying mother's child. Tubular. Congratulations. You deserve that medal. Now put on your medal, bro. Awesome. Whoa, tubular, bro. You totally saved that little kid and that professor, dude. Awesome. I'm Ron Ogden, and I'll see you next time. Surf's up, bro.